love you. Oh, no. You gotta go, man. See y'all later. Hey, are you here for band camp? Um, yeah, where am I supposed to go? Here, follow me, but first, let's do something about your clothes. My clothes? What's wrong with my clothes? You're gonna want something more comfortable for marching band. Well, what about what you're wearing? Oh, you're right, hold on. Whoa, okay, that's cool, but I don't have an extra change of clothes or magical powers. In Van, we learn a lot of things, but for now, I got you. Whoa! Pretty cool, right? Here, let's go inside. Hey guys, this is Hallie. Hey. Y'all ready for band camp? Oh yeah. Set! Welcome to band camp. I am your drill instructor. Today, you will learn about posture and how to stand so that you look uniform. To do this, you must learn the six points of alignment. Wait, don't you mean five? Six points. Number one, ankle bones. Number two, knees. Number three, hips. Number four, shoulders. And number five, head. And number six, ankle bones. If you keep these six points in a line, you will look fantastic. Repeat after me. Ankle bones. Ankle bones. Knees. Knees. Hips. 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 Shoulders. Shoulders. And head. And head. And ankle bones. Shut it. There's only five points of alignment. Now y'all practice, and someone introduce Mark Todd. Is he always out of his? No. no. So, who's Mark Time? Mark Time ain't a person, y'all. It's the way you keep your feet with the beat. Come on, sisters. Let me show you how it's done. No, 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 not like that. Watch and count with me. Ready? Boom. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Zavala, one of the band directors here at Clear Falls High School. I hope you all enjoy that demonstration of how to stand with great posture and how to use the mark time technique that we use here at the school. For the next portion of the video, we are going to talk about how to march forward. Before I do that, I'm going to introduce three special volunteers to help us out with that. We've got from a graduate from Bayside Intermediate, Mr. Thomas Knight. Graduate from Bayside Intermediate also as well, Mr. Kiko Santayan. And our current band president and graduate from Seabrook Intermediate, uh, Clayton Mathis. By the end of this video, we hope that you should have some understanding of how to march forward. Let's get to it. The first thing we'd like to introduce is the forward ISO exercise. ISO stands for isolation. It's a series of four count movements that break down the technique. Here we go. Uh, here's the same exercise, but from the side view, so you can kind of see the exaggeration that happens. Look at that. Five, six. Next thing we're going to show you is how to break down every single four count movement of the forward ISO technique. Uh, we've got Thomas Knight helping us out. Here we go, Thomas. First four count segment is the up two, three, four. Five, six, three, four. Up two, three, four. Okay, notice this crease in his shoe. His knee is going right over this big toe. His heel is pr practically perpendicular to the ground. 
uh, and his right leg is straight. Okay, right now this is called the platform. We'll explain that later. Okay, all of his weight is on the platform of both shoes. Next four count segment, it's a flex two, three, four. Notice how he uses all four counts every single time for these four count segments. He doesn't get there early, doesn't get there late. Both legs at this point are straight. The toe is pointing straight forward. The heel is not touching the ground yet, and his toe is as close to the shin as possible. You'll feel just a little bit of a burn right here. Okay. Next segment is the whole two, three touch. Real simple. Five, six, ready, and hold, two, three, touch. The legs look the same. The only thing is he dropped the heel. The toe is still coming towards the shin, still feeling the burn. Okay, uh, At this point, it's a little bit easier to hold just because it's not off the ground. Okay, But exactly the same thing. He doesn't slam his heel down. It's just a touch to the ground. Next segment is the transfer. Five, six, ready, and transfer, two, three, four. At this point, all the weight has from the right foot has transferred all to his left foot. You can still kind of see that there's, there's a little bit of weight on the right foot, but predominantly it's... Mostly on this left foot, okay? Mostly on the left foot, all on the weight of this. Both legs are straight, toes pointing straight forward, and still starting to go straight forward as well, okay? Next segment is the release two, three, four. It's called the release because in the back foot, you see all this energy being held right here. On the release, he's gonna release all that energy and you'll see a pop in his knee. Five, six, three, and release two, three, four. Very nice. The very end of the forward ISO exercise is to close. So we're going to teach you how to do that real quickly. Thomas, do me a favor and go to the flex position of your right foot. Okay, different from the other flex position, we're going straight forward. The toe right here is pointed a little bit at the angle. We'll teach you the angle later. Okay, a little bit at the angle. Let's go hold, two, three, touch, please. Five, six, three, and hold, two, three, touch. Same thing as the, as the previous one. Okay, the heel just touches the ground. The knees, legs are straight. Toe is pointed out. Flexing the toe. Transfer two, three, four, please. Five, six, three, and transfer two, three, four. Okay, all the weight is in this right foot. All the weight has been transferred. Both legs are straight. Release two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Release two, three, four. Same exact thing as the release earlier, except this toe, this foot is the only thing that's different, pointing out that way. Down two, close, please. Five, six, seven, eight. Down two, close. And now he's back exactly where he started. Now that we've broken down the forward ISO technique, hopefully you have a better understanding of how it works. We're going to do it one more time just so you have another look. Hey, Chris. Five, six. Up, two, three, four. Flex, two, three, four. Hold, two, three. Touch, transfer, two, three, four. Release, two. Flex, two, three, four. Hold, two, three. Touch, transfer, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. Down, two, close. The next exercise we'd like to introduce are the forward four count kick and rolls, which uses elements from the forward ISO exercise. Five, six, heel, kick, roll, 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 and kick, roll, 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 and close. Now we're going to break down the four count kick and roll exercise, and I've got Clayton Mathis here to help me out. We're going to start with a peel. Five, six, seven, peel. This looks exactly like the end of the forward ISO exercise. You can reset, Clayton, please. Peel kick. Five, six, seven. Peel kick. This looks exactly like the end of the touch. Okay, reset. Here's the roll. Five, six, seven. Peel kick. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, this, the roll is exactly like the way it's done with four counts, exactly like the transfer portion of the ISO exercise. Reset, Clayton, please. We're going to go peel, kick, and. Peel, kick, roll, 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 and. Five, six, seven. Peel, kick, roll, 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 and. Okay, at this point, you saw his knee go boom, nice and fast, to this release point. Yeah, just like in the ISO exercise. Reset, please. Now we're going to go through the full thing for you. Here we go. Full two steps, Clayton. Four count kick and rolls. Five, six, seven. Peel, kick, roll, 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 and kick. Here's a second look of the forward four count kick and roll exercise. We're going to do two views for you, one from the front and then one from the side. We 
before we go into real time marching, we gotta introduce the two count kick and rolls. Same exact thing as the four count kick and rolls, except for only two counts. We're gonna give you two views again, one from the front and one from the side view. Now that you've seen the four count kick and rolls and the two count kick and rolls, we're gonna combine them both and then go straight into real time marching. Once again, you're gonna have two views, one from the front and one from the side. The final thing we're going to demonstrate for you all today is eight steps of purely single time or real time marching. Once again, and for the final time, two views, one from the front and one from the side. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you found this video very helpful. If you have any questions about the technique, please don't hesitate to contact me, Mr. Zavala. My email can be found on the Clear Falls Band website, clearfallsband.org. Again, if you have any questions about the technique, please don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, until then, we're looking forward to seeing you guys in May for our mini marching camp, and best of luck with your preparations for auditions in also May, I believe. Okay, until then, take care.